Hey guys, so in today's energy update, I wanted to go into the themes of where we are standing in time and space. What kind of space are we holding? Are we taking? Are we not taking within ourselves, in the environment, in the space that we are occupying? Where do we actually stand? And in terms of time, which timeline, which new timeline are we operating in? Or which timeline are we navigating through? And what is that new breakthrough that is calling for us in order to step into that new timeline? But before we start, I want us to just breathe a little bit together because it's really having its density manifested through the body. So you could be actually feeling whether you're moving through some digestive stuff uh, or you're feeling some density in the stomach area and the solar plexus. Let's just breathe in a little bit together, just a ground here as well. And immediately feel into your stomach, into your belly. And you might feel like maybe it's shrinking. That is also the representation of how you are feeling within your time, within time and space, within your own space. So we're going to breathe through the belly, deep inhale through the belly there. And you might notice that maybe the breath is constricted. You're not maybe able to fully take a breath and that's okay. Just really moving the energy here. So breathing through the belly and allowing that breath to come all the way up to the forehead. And then exhale it out through a sigh or a sound. Just doing that two more times, inhaling through the belly. And just become aware exactly of your awareness of your body. Are you able to feel it taking space? Are you feeling like it's shrinking? Are you feeling yourself grounded? You're able to identify your frame. Or you're a little bit disconnected from that. And we're going to speak into that transmission today. But before we begin, I want to invite you to my next vision quest that is really going to be about you experiencing a completely new reality, embracing yourself on a completely deeper level. It's really going to be about a paradigm shift to the core. So check that out. through right now is that deeper sense of self-identity and in the latest video that I've done we've spoken about how there could be some some of us that may be moving through another expression of a dark night of a soul or something that felt really like a very challenging period maybe you're still going through it and what that created is that collapse right that internal collapse. When that happens with the internal collapse is because a new sense of identity wants to come through. A new sense of identity that is closer to your essence, that is closer to who you are at the core. And when I'm saying core, immediately feel it in your stomach, in your belly area, because this is what it is. It's like that seat, okay? that seed that is sitting in your core that was always you. And then there were all these different things on the outside, the programming, the conditionings, the things that you've taken on from your environment that have created a specific shield around that seed or made you forget the feeling, the existence of that seed. And it's just been kind of wrapped around it. And what we experienced in the last energy that could be still rippling out right now, which is completely okay, is a cracking, a collapse, a crumbling of those layers around that seed that is really everything that is sitting between you, which is that core seed, your core essence, and 
the outside environment, the physical existence, right? So spirit, your soul essence, and then the physical manifestation. And so that new sense of self-identity wants to come through. And it's showing the crumbling of everything that stands that has been stopping you from fully owning and claiming who you are. And I spoke about this also in the latest transmission, which is really about shame, insecurity, lack of confidence, and the pretense that some of us unconsciously, which is really sitting down in the ego, because we protect ourselves. We really have not been um, okay in, or learned to live in a world that where it's okay for us to be ourselves in the sense that where if we're struggling with things, we're navigating things, we're in our vulnerable, naked state, that that is okay and it's safe to do so. Not really. So what we've learned is to pretend to place a specific persona or an erroneous sense of image, a projected image of ourselves to the world in order to protect our core, right? Our seed. And that is what is really crumbling. And it's really showing you where, how much are you emitting out that core seed of yours and where you feel yourself, how much you feel safe to take space. And that is really interesting that's coming up because what I've noticed over and over again within the spiritual community, within the ceremonial spaces, is that when the ego takes a hold on what it means to actually take space and enters something that is the power struggle, a power dynamic, when actually, when you're really standing, taking space in your own power which is really the divine power, the one that does not need to prove, does not need to push in force. It's the one that is really just naturally, organically emitting out its own frequency, its own energy, its own light. So what happens is that when there's not really this meeting with one's own rawness, with one's own vulnerability and there is a bypassing. The pretense and that facade and the ego comes in and gets wrapped around and makes itself believe that it's actually being in its power. But what it's actually doing is taking space in a way that is invasive and forceful and then creates the energetics of a power struggle and a power dynamic with other people around it. So that is an important thing to notice, but I know that you may be feeling that also it could be a reason to why also if you're on the receiving end and you're witnessing that dance or that dynamic is what could actually be stopping you from feeling safe to fully take space. And why it could be that right now, this power struggle, this power dynamic is what is actually causing you to shrink, is what is causing that those layers around the seed to push further towards the seed, towards the core, and makes you want to cocoon, makes you want to play small. So really the activation here, the key to claiming that sense of identity, which is really stopped by self-doubt, by insecurity, by shame, but really, really strongly, right, the self-doubt that is really sneaky, that comes in and just doubts. And then instead of actually embracing it, being present with it, it gets pushed on the side and then the facade comes in, which is the overinflation of, I don't know, confidence or that you've got it all together, and you've figured it out and actually you're really struggling deep down. So the key for that is to really meet yourself where you're at with all of this with all of this that is going on with that crumbling of sense of identity allowing that new sense of identity to come through that is really trusting that is closer to who you are and noticing that as you're getting more and more comfortable noticing your nervous system feeling safe your body feeling safe to take space from your core essence, 
little by little, it's not also an accelerated process or a push or a force. Again, as I was saying, because then it enters into a power struggle. Through that, then you will be start being able to feel yourself that your energy is being emitted out and taking more and more and expanding more and more into that your frame, into your reality. Now, in terms of the timeline, and I also speak a lot, so if you're new to my channel, you can check out the other videos I've done speaking about what really I mean by timeline shift because it's something that is also so cliche, something that's just been used and like, oh, I just shifted timeline, and ooh, ooh, you know? Uh, but it's, it's not fully like that, you know? It's really about experiencing, acknowledging our multidimensionality. And that, moving forward from the latest transmission, that is when you're experiencing those challenging, chaotic times, this is really a dimension that you're entering, a dimension that you're wearing. Why I'm saying wearing? Because it really feels like maybe that analogy would support to remember that this is the multidimensional navigation, that it's really moving through one dimension to another. And whatever you're in has a beginning and an end. And it's a um, wave, okay? It's a journey that is just temporary. So why it's really wearing? Because it really feels like your perception the physical expression that is coming as a feedback from the outside, your mental, emotional state, everything is tied to that dimension. And usually when we're going through that is because there is a collapse of timeline. There is a breakthrough that is inviting us to step into a new timeline. And so we're going through that, wearing it for a little bit, it, seeing the codes, the new keys that we're wanting to receive from that dimension okay which is in the recent one was the collapse of the pretenses the collapse of really when your world is collapsing is because there is a collapse it's really slapping you so that you come through from the other side with something new it's like a tragedy a rebirth and so what happens in that when there's now this timeline shift is because it right now as you're still feeling that weird weirdness in terms of like where you stand in your own space where you stand in your own life and you can really see it as a question mark that you're noticing where do you stand in terms of your relationship maybe someone that you're meeting right now or someone that you've been with your husband your wife where you stand in terms of your career where you stand in terms of your location, your environment, your community, there's all these questions coming up. They're being questioned. Where are you standing? Now, the timeline shift that's really coming through right now is a closure. And I really want to link it in, I speak about this, is that literally the collective, you can literally see the micro and the macro cos cosmos of this reality, is that in the collective, we're going through a massive rebirth and timeline shift of what was possible, the entire structures and foundations. And it's getting us to question, is that really real? Is that really a possibility? Or is that going to be taken away from us? Which is in all different layers of freedom, right? And that is where also the energy comes up of the wealth freedom, financial freedom, freedom of expression, freedom of being. That is what really is being questioned here, right? Exactly. Freedom to be yourself. Freedom to receive. Freedom to plug into the timeline that is the timeline that supports you. That supports your nature. Is that really possible? So we're kind of in that weird space of like, are we already there? Or are we in the old worth, right? Our self-worth even as a collective, right? Is it possible for us to step into timeline of light? Or are we so used to the timeline of shadow and darkness and control and manipulation and survival, right? Survival. And that is the new timeline we're stepping into, stepping out of that survival that always keeps us in that 
fight and flight response that keeps active this reptilian brain inside of us. And we're stepping into the potentiality, the possibility of thriving. Because the moment you step out of survival, there is the potentiality of meeting, of having more time and space, back to time and space, to explore your own spirit, to explore spirituality, to explore your essence. But when you don't have the time for that, you're just stuck in that survival. Questioning. Is it really possible? So now it's really that freezing, right? We're frozen in time and space, waiting, pending. Are we plugging into that new timeline? Are we capable of it? Are we worthy of it? And that is the breakthrough because the new timeline, the foundation of the new timeline is going to be written on the blueprint of the new sense of identity that is emerging as a person, as a community, as a society, as humanity. The new sense of expression, the new sense of identity. Who are we in relation to our world? Who are we? How can we show up in relation to our world? Is it safe to do so? And some things are feeling too good to be true that unconsciously the operation system within us can take us, pulls us, pull us out of it, right? It's kind of like you're dipping your toes into that new timeline and realizing, uh-oh, it's like a little bit, is it, wow, oh, wow, it's really warm it's like that perfect temperature but is it really no it, it cannot be can it be can it be and then you just pull your feet back out and that's a little little bit the dance of timelines the timelines that are coming in and out morphing in and out it's like is it it yet is it it yet or not yet can i can i can i and so it's all tied to that seed that core within you And so trust, because that is something also so important, so much pressure of more work. There's more things you have to do. There's more things you have to achieve, even within the spiritual frame, spiritually, in order then to be worthy enough of stepping into the new timeline. Ah, if you're here on this video till now and you're watching this and you've been with me for a while, let that go let that go because this is only exposing your sense of shame your sense of lack of self-worth or self-doubt it's just exposing it that oh my god that new timeline that i know i'm so worthy of is slipping through my fingers because i am not enough i have not done enough work i have not believed in myself enough to step through it oh no let it go let it go know that it's right here it's happening whether you want it or you don't want it it's happening of course the work is to see what we were saying do we believe we're worthy enough is there some self-sabotage? But it is happening. Trust. This is higher consciousness. This is spirit moving through you. So it is happening. Now, the only thing that is to do is that inner inquiry. Only loving awareness, loving consciousness with yourself to feel your seed, to feel your core, to feel your belly, to feel yourself. To feel the old sense of identity wanting to creep in. Maybe take you into some old habits. And the new one that is wanting to emerge that is very uncomfortable, yet naked, yet raw, yet familiar. It's like the whole mumbo jumbo, right? Because it's you, but you haven't been you, fully you, in that sense, in such a long time. 
So truly embrace this newness, this rebirth that is coming through, and also this awkward time and space we're in. Before you leave, let me know in the comments below what you're experiencing. And also, if you like this message, truly like it and share it with other people that may benefit from this. That would be of great support to me and my channel as well.